how much of this is all hype? How much is, is it is real? I mean, you're in the uh, what do you call it? The the hot zone now, right? You're in the quarantine zone. Uh, is it is it as scary as everyone's kind of making it out to be right now? It just seems like San Francisco is in an emergency lockdown, all that stuff. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's uh, as serious as everybody's making it out to be, but definitely it's better to be safe than sorry, right? And so getting a bunch of people together in one place, usually there's always like the the notion of the con flu. When you do a big event like that, you come back home and you're always sick because you got a, you got some sort of sickness from somebody else that was there. Mm-hmm. Uh, with coronavirus going on, you just really can't take the risk, right? So you have to you have to be careful. So Richard, like I, I know that you have GDC plans, right? And uh, from what I heard, you're still planning to go up there to kind of meet and connect. And I'm sure there's a lot because not a lot of people had the opportunity to cancel their flights and a hotel and everything, right? So we'd love to kind of hear your thoughts about this. Is is the coronavirus yeah. scary enough for you? You're too tough for it. Uh, to tough it out. It's it's uh it's definitely scary. Um, you know, not a day goes by that I don't get updates like about how, <laughs> yeah. you know, some number of people have contracted it at a different country, and more people have passed away, or this conference has been canceled. Like Google's, like uh, their biggest conference just got canceled. Um, the thing about going to GDC for me is that uh. Uh, I was I, I'm a bit lucky because I have like uh, people that I can stay with, like family I can just stay with, and so I don't I didn't have to like book uh, hotels really too far in advance, and like my flights I've got a lot of points saved up from actually when you and I worked together in San Fran, Brandon. Um, I think like because like as an indie developer, a lot of like our strategy for PR is to meet with press and to just talk to them and demo the game. Like that's actually what our current goal is. Um, We can do that in a much smaller environment in a weird way. A very large, crowded Moscone Center is not really what we were hoping to show the game at anyway. Uh, So we can kind of keep it more on the down low. Um, in some weird way, like, because there's not going to be that, like, there's going to be less people at GDC. Maybe it's going to be a little bit easier, but like when I was talking to my PR team, they were like saying like, yeah, just like fly in early, fly out the same day and just like, you know, just, just keep yourself safe. And so, you know, I'm going to do a little risky, but yeah, that's, that's sort of the plan. And of course, like a lot of efforts are being made for people who aren't like yourself well you have the flexibility because you're within california but a lot of people kind of depend on that week to kind of promote and help out with everything that is their game not not as you can imagine not a lot of people can delay a year and pick it up in uh gdc 2021 uh so there are relief efforts being made all over the place yeah it's, Go ahead. It's, yeah, I so I saw the relief efforts. That's really cool. Um, I thought GDC was just supposed to be postponed till um, summertime, but I don't know. Maybe that was some, that was something I read a couple of days ago. Is that is that, is that true or that that was smiling. said? <laughs> but let's be yeah. honest, man. Like it's gonna be. They didn't put a date. <laughs> I mean, that's the first. That's the first. Well, still, yeah. Well, go ahead. Well, they're, they're still, yeah, they're still trying to figure it out. But also, like, summertime is right in the midst of SIGGRAPH and E3 and yeah. Gamescom. Like, it's, it's yeah, good luck. Good luck finding a spot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, finding a spot and, like, just having people replan things to kind of fly out there. It's going to be, at best, a fraction, a very small fraction of what would have been you know, 29,000 attendees for 2019, right? It would be way less. And without the crowd, not a lot of people are going to be very interested to kind of go GC. People have other plans and other conferences to go. So it's as good as dead. Uh, I think they should just, you know, uh, count their losses and just move on and, and just plan for the next one. Because we don't even know how long the coronavirus was actually extend to. I think it's kind of foolish for them to kind of plan something and then it still is a problem in the summer and they have to do it again. That would be pretty bad PR. But uh, aside from that, like I kind of want to look at the overall impact of what the scares have doing, right? Uh, you know, the last time this was as scary was SARS or, or something of the effect where globally there was an issue, right? But coronavirus is kind of 
affecting the stocks market and everything that goes through China, basically. Um, you know, a lot of industries are affected. I want to know your thoughts, Rich, uh, about do you think this is going to play a bigger role in the game industry, this coronavirus thing? Um, uh, I honestly don't think so. I think it's going to really just slow down just like any sort of like um, global development. Like, so, you, so like the largest publishers, I think will be hurt the most because like, obviously it's harder to do like any sort of uh, travel. Like, um, so, so I, I know I work uh, as a consultant for Tencent and like they have very strict rules now on like traveling and um, they're suspending all sorts of like, um, like people should have to work from home in certain areas and stuff. Uh, like my LA office was actually told to go home and until further notice, do not come into the office. And that's preempting sort of like uh, concerns that they have because the location of our office, uh, like there's like high traffic among with like other companies too, uh, cause it's a shared working space. And so, you know, it's not like, like things are still going to get done, but maybe they won't get done as fast or the quality won't be as high. There's definitely like a lot of people just like kind of joking about, Oh man, is there, is it going to break out like in uh, Koreatown in LA or something or like, Oh, there's news that it, uh, uh, happened in San Antonio or, you know, so there's, it, it definitely dominates a lot of like, uh, conversations and there are some real world impacts that happen, but I don't think it's going to affect the video game industry as a whole. I actually think like PR will be certainly stifled a bit because of these conferences, but then I think that just means that, you know, creative marketing, uh, will have to play a bigger role and, uh, maybe, um, maybe that actually makes it easier for indies to, to get their word out. I don't know. We'll see. How about you, Ray? Yeah. How do you feel? No, I just think it will be a, a way to get better at uh, video conferencing, remote working. Yeah. Uh, like, in, you know, in my company, we already do a lot of that already. We already distributed it all around the world. And so it's just like, okay, well, don't travel do critical meetings over over Zoom, and then it's just business as usual, right? So, so I don't I don't see it. I see it. It can be a lot of a lot of good things can come out of it where people understand that. Oh, wait, this still works. We can still do Zoom meetings. We can still do remote work, and maybe we don't actually have to be in offices all the time, right? Uh, so that's that's one good thing that will come out of that. Maybe people will learn this. Yeah, I mean, it is encouraging that. Um the game industry has proven to be recession proof in 2008. So now we're going to be Corona proof or virus proof in 2020. And I, I do think there are some side benefits of people realizing like, Hey, maybe we don't have to be standing next to each other as much. And maybe there is going to be a rise in remote work, uh, in the game industry and, and more of that now that people have cooties. Yeah. So <laughs> aside from that, uh, the coronavirus hopefully is just one of those things that I feel like, uh, it's just overhyped and people are just being extra careful. I think GDC is has always been a hotbed for diseases. So even without a virus, a new virus coming about, I think people have always kind of been scared of GDC because be, you know we always come back with some type of sickness, just rubbing shoulders with the, the dirtiest types of people, uh, game developers. <laughs> so... Uh, in the meantime, I think it's all good. I mean, it is sad. I was really looking forward to it, like many of you guys. I don't know, Ray, you lived there, but I, I was fully planning out to be up there for a whole week, party it up. It's one of my favorite times of the year to kind of meet old friends. Uh, it is kind of weird to kind of not go this year. It's been like five years in a row for me, at least. Um, for all the people out there, I feel bad for you. Again, extending my... Uh, yeah, it's empathy for people who just yeah. were looking towards that as a as a way to kind of promote their game and, and can't really do that as much. Uh, hopefully, I mean, we can. I mean, you can still come. You can still come and party it up, right? But uh, I just won't be partying with you. I'll <laughs> stay far, far, far away from you. But yeah, he'll be on a Zoom. I'm link. sure. I'm <laughs> sure there'll be. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure there's be some folks partying it up. Uh, I think so too. I would like, like yeah. I would love to see if GDC kind of really. Re I mean, if it's favorable, they probably would release of who is actually going to still come. Like of the 
I'm pretty sure their their record breaking number would have been thirty thousand again or something. So it would have been would be pretty nice if they yeah. just let those numbers slip and like five thousand or ten thousand people are still going to show up. It might actually help, but I don't think so. Nah, like yeah, when it comes to companies, nobody's coming, right? I'm just, <laughs> yeah. about in, I'm, I'm just talking about indies, indies, and just small folks that want to come out and just meet up with friends and party up. I'm sure there will still be some that are coming, right? Yeah. A few, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, Richard and his uh, buddies. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah.